Guys, in this video, we will be discussing circuit pattern for Airbus A320, sharing insights from my experience. I'll cover everything you need to know about the circuit pattern, like what you need to prepare before takeoff, and briefing with pilot monitoring before takeoff, and briefing for the approach at downwind. Then, how to calculate downwind extension time, task sharing of pilot monitoring and pilot flying during different legs of the circuit. Then we'll tell you selection of ND page and the distance. Uh, and I'll also show you how to prepare MCDU for the circuit. Circuits can be very easy if you know what to prepare before takeoff and understand the timing of each task. While circuits are time critical and involve handling multiple tasks in a short period, they become much easier when you are mentally prepared and have a clear plan in your mind. I'll guide you through each step of this process, so stay tuned and focused, I'll be right back to walk you through it. Hello everyone, Namaskar. Let's start this video with the very first question which comes in our mind just before takeoff that how to configure our aircraft for the circuit. So you can configure your aircraft normally like you do for any normal departure. Most of us get confused in what to fail in the FMGC departure and destination. So I'm taking an example of uh, Delhi runway 28. We will prepare cockpit in three different parts for the circuit. First is FCU, then we'll do MCDU preparation and then pilot monitoring briefing. Uh, set FCU altitude for the circuit which is 1500 feet above your airport elevation. In this case 778 is the airport elevation plus 1500 feet it becomes the circuit altitude 2278. So we will set uh, 2300. Now comes the MCDU preparation. You can put the same airport in the to and from Victor India Delta Papa slash Victor India Delta Papa. Go to the flight plan page. You can choose runway 28 in the destination. Keep in mind, no ILS 28, no VOR 28, only runway 28 would be there. You just scroll down, select 28 from your MCTU. So far, so good. Now time to brief your partner. Just a normal discussion to give her the same mental picture of the circuit. Now there are some points to cover briefly. So this is how you can brief uh, your pilot monitoring. Like Captain, we will be making a standard right hand circuit for with flaps 1 and 2.5 nautical mile of displacement. Once we get airborne, be ready with two things. After gear up, I'll ask you to pull heading and then activate the approach phase. And reaching circuit altitude, we'll ask for the downwind heading 104. That's it. This is the briefing you can give her. Now, what will happen by pulling heading and activating the approach phase? So your FDs will give you the guidance to maintain runway heading. Your speed will not increase because you have activated the approach phase and you would not require to retract your flaps from 1 to 0. If you want to retract, you can retract your flaps, but I don't recommend. During briefing with your co-pilot, tell them the downwind heading, otherwise you both will get confused during the turn. In this case, it is 104 degree. After rollout on heading 104, once the runway is in sight, autopilot off, FDs off, bird on. You can discuss the winds you would be experiencing during downwind lag. It will help you to find the exact time for downwind lag extension. Uh, this is enough for the briefing. Uh, now you are fully prepared for the circuit, ask for departure and take off. So as discussed in the briefing, once you get airborne, your pilot monitoring gives a call for positive climb, you say gear up and pull heading. Once she pulls the heading, your aircraft will be climbing straight. Suggest you to take autopilot right, and ask her to activate the approach phase. She will activate the approach phase, now the aircraft speed and heading is in your control, right? So far, so good, it's easy. Once you reach the circuit altitude, you will ask for right downwind heading. Say, set right downwind heading 104. Your aircraft is already in the heading mode. As soon as uh, he rotates the knob in the clockwise direction for the right downwind heading, 
your aircraft will start turning to the right but at some airport uh, uh, due to some restrictions right hand circuit is prohibited so depending on airport you will make left or right circuits if you need to make right hand circuit then just make sure uh, pilot monitoring rotates the knob in the right direction it's very important do not rotate the heading knob in the opposite direction now you will be rolling out on heading 104 once it rolls out on the downwind so during this uh, rolling out and when you are in the crosswind ask your pilot monitoring to prepare for arrival now question is how to prepare for arrival in this circuit and uh, how to do it you know do the head check select or cross check that only 28 is selected in the destination no need to do anything in red nav page then no need to do anything in the progress page now comes the performance page you have already activated the approach phase right then comes the fuel prediction page no need to do anything and the secondary flight plan if you want to uh, copy the active then do the copy active otherwise not required ask your pilot monitoring to sequence the flight plan now again same question what is the need of sequencing and how do we sequence the flight plan okay i'll tell you so why do we sequence so we'll tell you simply sequencing is used to have a guidance during go around right so the sequencing just makes an extended center line in the opposite direction of the runway so it, it's it will be a dotted line and it will help you to you know guide and when to roll out to intercept the runway extended center line now how to sequence it you just go to the direct to on mcdu there will be a final point just before the runway you can check it by just looking at your nd on the arc mode you will be having few points just before the runway select one of those and set radial in 104 over there as soon as you select and direct to insert you will be having a straight line opposite to the runway direction okay now sequencing is done mcdu is fully ready for visual approach <laughs> i mean fmgc i hope you will not point out these small things all right okay as soon as you complete your turn for the downwind now there are few things to do guys i know it's a time critical practice where you have to do so many things in a very short time as soon as you just roll out on your downwind you can ask your pilot monitoring to prepare the cockpit for the arrival so um auto brake selection approach phase already activated uh, then approach briefing and then approach checklist so this is how you prepare your cockpit that was mcdu preparation this is cockpit preparation for the arrival right once runway is in sight you can disconnect the autopilot ask fd's off bird on okay now you will be flying your aircraft manually make sure your selection is rose nav 10 it will give you a very good display of your runway and your aircraft now mark the abeam threshold a deadline to complete your briefing and checklist i know you would be thinking how can we complete our uh, approach tpc briefing before the uh, you know abeam runway threshold <laughs> relax uh, i'll just give you a short brief of uh, approach briefing how to do it you can just say captain we will be having a visual approach for runway 28 there is no minimum for this approach we are to fly nautical mile right of the runway just a beam threshold set a time of 45 second give a call at 10 seconds to go after that i'll ask you flaps 2 and then runway track 284 during the turn gear down then flaps 3 and full in case of go around we'll climb straight uh, or as directed by atc that's it <laughs> this is the briefing uh, and tell him the exact time for the extension and downwind extension i'll tell you how to you know calculate the time for the uh, in case of headwind and tailwind okay uh, okay this is the approach briefing if your instructor or your company have any standard physiology please use that this is, i am i'm only giving you idea and you know basic layout how to do it that's it by this time you are uh, a uh, briefing all these things and you are doing checklist you will be a beam threshold 
guys uh, if you look at your nd then there you will find the displacement of your aircraft with respect to the extended center line or uh, from the you know runway it should be 2.5 nautical mile if it is more than 2.5 nautical mile just turn 5 degrees or 10 degrees towards the runway and if it is less than 2.5 nautical mile just uh, go 10 or 5 degrees away from the runway you need not to change your track on the fcu panel just do it uh, manually and return to your downwind track once uh, you are about to reach 2.5 nautical mile to make sure that you are always 2.5 nautical mile away okay you will ask for the approach checklist i have told you and then uh, once the approach checklist done now everything is all set as soon as you reach a beam threshold pilot monitoring will set a timer for 45 seconds you maintain the distance of 2.5 nautical mile uh, once the pilot monitoring gives a call 10 seconds to go you will ask flaps 2 then you uh, will ask set runway track 284 he'll give you the runway track 284 and then you will start turning right for the track 284 and you will ask for gear down meanwhile pilot monitoring will do his duties spoilers arm landing gear down checked external light set give a call uh, for to the cabin crew to be seated for landing and then you will maintain a rate of descent of around maybe two three hundred feet per minute uh, not more than that right now you will be descending from your circuit altitude which is 2300 if you maintain a bank of around 20 to 25 degrees you will roll out on the center line of your runway you will be having idea while looking at the extended center line which you did by just sequencing the flight plan right do you remember now this will help you and guide you to change the bank of your aircraft you should be on two red and two white if you are not you can just correct your rate of descent do the landing checklist and then be stabilized by 500 feet agl and just go for the landing that's it and that's how you execute the circuit pattern guys i have explained everything about circuit i have covered all the common doubts and questions just one thing is remaining how to calculate the downwind extension time so simply whatever your circuit height is just multiply it by 3 and divide it by 100 so circuit height is 1500 feet multiply it by 3 it comes 4500 divided by 100 becomes 45 so 45 second or you can just simply take the first two digits of your circuit altitude um, that is 15 multiply 3 45 second it becomes your timer now add the headwind comp component and subtract the tailwind component because headwind stops your aircraft and tailwind pushes your aircraft so it will uh, increase or decrease your downwind so whatever the headwind component is just add one second for one knot of headwind and subtract one second for one knot of tailwind component right for example if headwind component is five knots on the downwind so add five seconds in 45 so it becomes 50 seconds so timer will be 50 seconds and the pilot monitoring will remind you at 40 second in this case right perfect i think i have covered everything uh, there might have some corrections in this circuit if you find any incorrect or inappropriate procedure then please do let me know write down in the comments i'll definitely correct it and pin your comment i'm not an instructor or a very senior pilot just a first officer who recently started flying a320s uh, what i share here is based on what i have learned during my training and simulator sessions so far i have written it in a way that that is easy to understand because reading directly from fcom can be challenging everything is written in your fcoms your books uh, right here my goal is to visually represent the content of fcom and fctm along with what 
is taught during the simulator trainings to make it more accessible the purpose of a youtube channel is to provide you the information you need as a trainee i try to share the tips and tricks that i use as well as those i learned from my peers and seniors i hope you learned something new mera naam hai abhishek sharma channel ka naam hai flying or peace main aise videos banata rehta hu you can explore the playlist section of my channel where you will find a curated and organized collection of videos for different stages of training thank you for your time and energy jain